Hey YouTube, S Swinger 70 your old buddy here. I thought I would go through the process of how I go and uh, prepare my brass um, for reloading. Um, I don't have an intricate special setup other than my press. Uh, I don't have tumblers. I don't have tumbling media. I have, look, this is one of my tumblers and this is the other one right here. And... Uh, I don't have anything uh, knock down, drag out, excellent. But what I do is um, is working, and I'm pretty impressed with how things come out. So I uh, just figured I'd show you how I do it and uh, see if you guys have anything to say. Maybe you have uh, suggestions, or maybe you'll take something out of this and um, adopt it as your own. So... First off, let's show you the ugly stuff. Alright, so here's the ugly stuff. Um, fresh out of the range bucket. And I just dumped it into this big plastic bowl. And uh, it's grimy and gross. So what I do is, pretty simple. And that's a good segue into showing you what I use to clean. Simple green. Simple green. It's that simple. And what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll squirt it down pretty heavy. Like so. And that does the trick and then I'll let it sit there for a minute while I get the water running hot and it's running hot and then I'll just fill it up a little bit gets all sudsy want the uh, mixture to be somewhat concentrated right so then since I'm holding the uh, camera with the one hand I only got one tumbler today so I just mix it around I'll do this for like three minutes But I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me do this for three minutes. So we'll come back. For you, it'll be a split second. For me, it'll be three minutes. All right. So now I done tumbled. And what I did was I dumped the brass into this strainer. And usually then what I do is I take some cold running water. And I run it through to get all the suds out, because cold water dissipates the suds. Dizzy. <laughs> there. All right. Shake it out. And then I'm going to let it sit on this towel. Why am I going to let it sit on this towel? Well, let's just take a look at them. That's pretty good. Now, the insides aren't perfect. And the primer pocket's probably not perfect. But the primer pocket will be much easier to clean the rest of the way after it's dry. Because I'll just take that primer scraper thingy and 
get in there and get that out. But I think all in all, it comes out looking nice. And I think the insides get cleaned up just enough. You know, the inside you don't have to worry about. I worry about the outside, for, you know, for obvious reasons. I worry about the outside because I want to make sure that, number one, there's nothing that's going to keep that from cycling. You know, there's no gouges or or uh, cracks or anything like that. But I think all in all, this brass comes out looking really, really nice. I mean, that's that looks like it just came out of a bag. I think. I don't know. You let me know what you guys what you guys think. All right. And then my next step would be to lay it out and get it in the oven. And we're gonna come back in. 17 minutes and 45 seconds, 44 seconds now, because I already have a batch in the oven drying. Um, so just as a heads up, I will lay the brass out on a baking sheet with tinfoil over top of the baking sheet and put it in the oven at 175 for one hour. So I have 17 minutes and 8 seconds left and then I will come up and I will get this batch ready to show you to go into the oven all right I'm back so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these into the oven now for the hour at 175 as you can see what I did was I put them all out on this baking sheet on top of tin foil and I made sure that they're all laying down on their sides. Nothing's standing upright. All right, so they're going to go in the oven. Now, can I do this with one hand without killing anything? Good. And I put them on the top rack. It's not like we're on broil. And away we go. All right, one hour. Set timer. To one hour now here's what I did do rather than <clears throat> have you or me wait the hour I um <clears throat> I took the last batch out to show you how they turned out and these are dry inside and out and ready to be lubed and when I show you that process I'll show you my lube process but that's how I prep my ammo cases for reloading all right so until next time uh, it was great seeing you guys. Shoot straight.